And now, for another episode of Great Moments in Pot History. On this episode of Great Moments in Pot History, we're looking back to January 15th, 1985. The Wild Man is at home with Cleophus Williams. And we are all out of weed as it begins to snow on the city. Snow is slightly falling down. Mom's at work. And yet we are not old enough to drive. However, we came across a $10 bill that I got from my paper route. And even though we were ill-licensed, my brother jumped in the car anyway, and he took that $10 to Yale Park to score a dime bag. Yale Park used to be in front of UNM, there on Central and Yale, just across from the old general store. He bought a dime, and he brought it back as snow began to fall harder, and I began to worry about the conditions of the road. Once he arrived, he showed me the dime bag. Now you must remember, at that time, a dime bag was a decent sized bag. It was, it was enough to smoke for a few days. It was 1985. But when I saw his dime bag, I was taken aback. I was shocked at the minuscule size. It looked as though there were simply two buds in one bag. I looked at him with as calm a face as I could muster, and I said unto my brother, Negro, have you lost your goddamn mind? Two buds in one bag? However, he explained to me that the man that he met at Yale Park had presented him a dime bag of the legendary weed known as Maui Wowie. And because it was so le legendary and powerful, only two buds were allowed to be in the dime bag. Well, I continued to argue my case. I was like, nigga, I don't wanna hear about how you got two buds of Maui Wowie. Just put that shit in the bowl, all right? Put that shit in the bowl. You know how many papers I had to throw? And so he did put that shit in the bowl. And once we got it in the bowl, my brother and I took one toke, one toke. Then I understood, then I knew, Maui, wowie. Oh my goodness gracious. We were so high, we didn't have to take a toke for the rest of, and the next day we made the grand mistake of smoking the rest of the dime. All at once, I spent the afternoon walking in a circle around my living room, singing, Who can it be now? Who can it be now? Stay tuned for more legendary moments in pot history.